in today's vlog i just want to talk about the audacity i had as a kid to think magil isn't like a dream school cuz i thought magil was like a safety option and like after i came here i kind of realized that yeah. it's a biggest insult i can give this place one thing i know about like um schools in sri lanka is that or like just the culture in sri lanka is that we don't go to like an ivy league or something like you know you're deemed to be like which is stupid like i don't know after don't end up going to ivy league yeah exactly are you going to be famous because of an address or is an address going to be famous because of you that is an extremely important question one of my best friends arnab asked me when i was talking to him about getting rejected from princeton which was my dream school and it was his dream school too but before we proceed into the bulk of the content my name is manith kulutunga and if you haven't hit this page before this is content college and i speak about how students could get through and through university please hit the subscribe button if you think this con this is the kind of content that you might enjoy i'll certainly appreciate it since i am a small channel trying to grow why i'm kind of making this video right now is because this is the kind of season where like people are getting ready for school and they've already gotten their university decisions and obviously congratulations to everyone who who's gotten into their dream universities but the the majority of students don't get into these dream schools and as a south asian student i've always felt like if i didn't get into like one of these dream universities like an ivy league university or ivy league plus university i'll just be like an extremely mediocre person and i'll make no beneficial contribution to society and i'm not going to have the career of my dreams and i wish that at that time i had the kind of reassurance that i plan on providing with this video because you know it's a very confusing time and you just feel very de dejected and sad and you know you you're just trying to like grab at silver line uh, like silver linings and and what not and it's just like a weird weird time and a weird kind of space to be in and i really empathize with people like that so like i said before i wanted to go to princeton i thought because it was a safe school and what kind of happened through that is i just didn't learn to be grateful for everything that i had in front of me i was going to one of the greatest institutions in the world i i am a first generation student i am from sri lanka from papilia and i don't come from like an extremely wealthy family or anything we are very simple normal people and i have the opportunity to actually go abroad and you know get an education but I never felt like that was a big deal and I couldn't really appreciate myself for it and I just kept beating myself up and I just felt horrible during that that stage of time. And when I came to McGill I what what happened through that is like when I, when you don't appreciate your institution you you don't see how competitive things are and you feel like you know you're too great for this institution. Now that audacity is the the thing that was corrected as soon as i came here because the the amount of people i met here and the amount of talent that i was exposed to here was tremendous and i was proven wrong that you know oh like there are so many great talented people all across the world and it's quite literally impossible to fit in every single talented person in the history of this planet into these ivy league institutions so and and what i what i kind of like realized even further is that majority of students majority of the student body across the world they don't go into like these elite institutions like the top 10 institutions but the majority of students actually actually they reside in other universities and and after being corrected in my very first semester and like you know getting a low gpa because i underestimated this institution what i realized is that you know not every rejection is just a flat no on your face that most rejections and 95% of many, most rejections are redirections and that sometimes the opportunities you're going to placed in due due to circumstance probably might end up being greater for you because when i think of going to, into an, like an ivy league school or something or like a very academic institution i just feel like i wouldn't have done re, i wouldn't have done half the things i would have done at ivy league and that's a that's a crazy thought because you know like when i when i realized the kind of talent scale i realized that it's always for some people it's always better to stand out in a smaller pool of talent like and that's easier to stand out and you can put certain things on your resume and that this kind of setting works for some people in comparison to the other like i i feel like if i went to an ivy league school or a school of like high intellectual and academic demand i wouldn't have really lived up to my goals in the first place because i would have been so challenged by the academic intensity of these schools and i i wouldn't have performed as much now not that mcgill is like a walk in the park or anything like that but you know there are there are certain levels to like how 
how competitive and like how 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 grading works and things like that and i feel like i wouldn't have been a good fit to these schools and it kind of makes sense that they rejected me obviously like i had the talent and the skill to kind of do that but i made the best of my opportunities at mcgill and i am so glad that i realized sooner than later that i could i could live my dream career regardless of the institution now something that a lot of uh, a lot of basketball fans kind of believe in is that the name on the back is greater than the name on the front because you know we are, we are when we are growing up we are so enamored by big names and we are so like we look up to great institutions and great companies and great organizations that we forget the main person and the most powerful person in this entire process is you because at the end of the day regardless of where you are you need to be able to put in the required effort to get to any place in the world and maybe you know going to a less known institution or like a non target school might force you to do harder work but that underdog mentality is something that serves really great for certain people and another thing that we need to realize is that rejection and redirection are going to follow us through all facets of our life if just just as a statistic i applied to about 300 to 400 internships about 300 internships at least and i got rejected by 200 of them this is this was in my second year by the way i got rejected by about 200 of them and like the rest about like 90 of them just did not get back to me it was just a, it was just like you know rejection all over again like one after the other and it's it's a feeling that you get numb to with time but it, there's a lot to learn from it because you know you either go back and kind of like learn from that entire experience or you just realize that the next opportunity that you have is some something that you need to cherish and something that you know you can take advantage of so as a student and mcgill i've i've got gotten four internships i've done multiple side projects and you know i've worked at the biggest companies in the world and i'm currently working at one of the biggest also and you know i've gotten multiple leadership positions one from one from google as the google developer student club at mcgill and i don't like i said like i don't think i would have done any of these things if i was at a bigger institution and what i'm trying to say through this video is that i think it's extremely important that you have the audacity to believe that you can do absolutely anything you want in any of these institutions and that the power of your career and that the greatness of your career is only going to be dependent on you and your habits and you know you being able to show up every single day and work hard every single day and trust me if you are consistent and if you work hard every single day like with time you're just going to get luckier and luckier and you know things are just going to open up for you when i started out university if if you watch my previous videos you will see that you know initially it was always very tough and i just got used to the situation and if you are grateful for the opportunities that you have you will always figure out a way around it and trust me it's an exciting ride ahead of you just do not be a shell of yourself be be absolutely confident that you can do absolutely everything that you want to do your dreams are right in, in front of you and something you need to realize is that you know there's enough opportunity there's enough uh, space for you in the table and there's there's a lot of things that you can do with your life and you know just be, just admire that opportunity that you have to go to university because that's not an opportunity that a lot of people have a lot of us are privileged to actually choose a career so just make the best out of that opportunity just work extremely hard just dream really big and just make don't just romanticize your goals just work on it and trust me regardless of where you play where you you are placed in i'm certain that you will do very great just just admire the opportunity just make the best out of it and trust me everything is going to be fine um but yeah it's a lot of hard work but like the saying goes it will always be worth it